Hi, I'm Frank with Rick Tech. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you're into sim racing and you're looking to put together some kind of a rig. And if you're racing on a PC or a PlayStation and you're looking to build a rig of your own, then this is the one to build. The RS1 DIY from Rick Tech. As you can see, this rig got everything you need. It's got a great seat, you got a steering wheel, you got your shifter, you got your pedals, you even got a place for a keyboard for your PC guys. Now, in case you haven't figured it out already, this is the G27 wheel from Logitech. Now this rig is designed to use the G27 or the G25 wheel from Logitech. This wheel is the best bang for the buck, and if you don't already have a wheel for your PC or your PlayStation, this is the wheel to get. Now, if you've already got a wheel and it's not this model, you can still build this rig. You're just gonna have to make some modifications. Now, you might be thinking, why would I even wanna build my own rig? Is it even worth the time and the money? Well, yes, it is. Here, take a look. As you can see, this rig doesn't have a center post between your legs. That means there's nothing to get in the way of operating the pedals. You can do heel-toe downshifts the right way, and you can left foot brake without having anything to get in your way. This also means you don't have to climb over the rig to get in. You just sit down, slide your legs in without having to be a contortionist. That means your expensive wheel is going to last longer. That's right. By not having to climb over the rig, you're not grabbing onto this wheel for support. You see, this wheel is not meant to carry your weight. And you're probably going to have to grab onto the wheel to get in and out to keep yourself from falling on a center post rig. If you've ever climbed into a rig with a center post, you know what I mean. This rig also has the right place to mount inverted pedals. Now you can have your pedals mounted just like in a real car. This makes a huge difference in driving. If you've ever tried to heel toe downshift with this plastic base in your way, then you know what I'm talking about. Also, you get to place the pedals exactly where you want them, so you can get the spacing between the pedals exactly right for the width of your foot. You also get to put in a dead pedal if you want, so you're not accidentally riding the clutch all the time. Something else you're gonna love about this rig is there's absolutely no wobble to it. It's rock solid. You can hammer on this thing all day long and it's not gonna work loose. And if you've ever tried a steel rig, you know they wobble and flex on you all the time. Not to mention the squeaking made by all the joints. So you may think a wood rig is not stable, but check this thing out. This ain't going anywhere. Because this rig is so solid, you can put a base shaker on this thing and you're gonna feel it everywhere. You're gonna feel it in the seat, you're gonna feel it in the steering wheel, you're gonna feel it in the pedal, you're even gonna feel it in the shifter. And all you need is one shaker. You see, wood transmits vibration much better than steel. That's why musical instruments and high-end speakers are made of wood and not made of steel. So all you need is one good quality shaker mounted underneath this thing and the whole thing is gonna shake on you. That's all you need. Now this may look like a fairly basic layout of equipment, but don't let that fool you. This thing has a place for a keyboard and mouse for your PC users. If you're not using a keyboard, you can mount your monitor up here. If you are a PC user and you want both, the plans have an option for mounting a monitor stand and keeping your keyboard on here. You've got room up underneath the dashboard. You can mount a couple speakers in there, make it sound like the engine sounds are coming out from underneath the hood. And you've got room up underneath. You can mount a bass shaker. You can mount a power strip. On ours, we've got an amplifier to drive with bass shaker. You can mount a whole bunch of stuff up under there. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, man, that rig is awesome. I want to build one of those for myself. But I can go on the internet and find a set of plans for free. Why would I pay Rick Motec for a set of plans? And you're right, you can go on the internet, you can find some diagrams, you can print these things out, then you're gonna take these diagrams, you're gonna take a protractor, you're gonna take a tape measure, and you're gonna figure out how to turn this little drawing into something big enough for you to fit into. And when you do that, and you transfer one of those measurements wrong, you're gonna cut a piece of material the wrong size, you're gonna ruin the material, you're gonna waste time. And if you add up that time and material that you wasted, you could have bought yourself a set of these plans. All right, now this is more like it. When you order a set of plans to build an RS1 DIY simulator from Rick Motec, 
this is what you get. You can forget about figuring out how to take these little drawings and making them full size. We've already done that for you. All you do is cut out the templates, stick it onto your workpiece, and cut on the dotted line. It's just that simple. We've even marked where to drill holes so the assembly of the unit goes together nice and easy. We also send you a full color instruction manual. It takes you step by step. You've got color illustrations showing the entire assembly process one step at a time, so you can't make a mistake. With these sets of plans, this simulator builds itself. So now you know all about this rig, you know about the templates, you know about the instruction manual, you want to build one, so what are you waiting for? Head over to our website, www.rickmotech.com slash DIY and order your set of plans today.